The demanding turns and dual surfaces of Rallycross have made it one of the most exciting motorsports on the planet. Billed as the ultimate test for driver and machine, these sprint races have had a special effect on one of the sport's living legends. Two-time World Rallycross champion, Petter Solberg. I love driving cars, cars with over 600 horsepower and almost 1,000 newton torque. Zero to 100 in 1.9 seconds. It packs a hefty punch and it looks great. It's what's kept me so consistently motivated. Raised on a farm in Spiderberg, Norway, Petter and his brother Henning were born into a world of racing. Their parents, Tove and Terje, raced in the Norwegian version of Rallycross, known as Billcross. Other parents took their kids to football, but mum and dad took me and Henning to car races, where they drove. And we as a family all built the cars they raced. That was the passion we had for the sport, and since then it has only ever been about cars and racing them. On his 18th birthday, Petter finally got his racing license. And within a matter of days, he was at his first race. He took second place and followed that up with a first. National Rallycross success followed in 1995 with a title defense a year later. Then came the decision to switch to rallying. He excelled there, taking the national crown in 1998. The top World Rally teams took notice and Ford snapped him up for the 1999 season. His stylish form of driving gained him the nickname Mr. Hollywood, and an impressive debut saw Solberg opt out of his Ford contract. He switched to Subaru, who provided him with the iconic Impreza. The car is incredible to drive. It's all of those small details that makes that car perfect which you feel on your bottom when you drive, and you don't have a computer. It ticks all the little boxes and makes it a great experience. Easy to drive, balanced, precise, the braking, the feeling. Everything is going through my spine when I'm driving. Petter became Norway's first ever World Rally Champion in 2003. The win was made even more impressive, given who he beat along the way. Carlos Sainz, Sebastian Loeb, Colin McRae, Richard Burns and Tommy Mackinnon, some of the biggest names in the history of rallying. When I became world champion in 2003, almost everyone from the older generation and the younger generation of drivers were there. So for me, it was possibly the hardest year in world championship history. Ogier was probably the only name missing from the list. He came later. But I believe I won the championship at the toughest time and in one of the hardest years. It would be Solberg's only title win. He finished runner-up to Sebastian Loeb for the next two seasons. Petter remained one of the top drivers on the circuit until his decision to move back to his first love, Rallycross, in 2013. Rallycross is a small jewel that hasn't been worked with a lot. And when that opportunity came up and proved successful with the two championship wins, it was just an amazing feeling. We built the car ourselves without any manufacturer's support. It was built in the workshop at our home, and that just makes it more special. Solberg won the first two World Rallycross Championships, becoming the first driver to win FIA World titles in two different disciplines. For the 2017 season, the 42-year-old has signed up with manufacturer Volkswagen to create the PSRX Volkswagen Sweden race team. Sole focus to win the team championship. My teammate is in the lead, which is fantastic for me. And my aim will be to help build up those points for the championship. It's my responsibility as a teammate to help him as much as possible. So it's great, really. If I get second place, that's OK. But the team championship is my first priority, and that has been the plan from the beginning. 
Swedish teammate Johan Kristoffersson currently has a 35-point lead over Solberg in the standings after they took another 1-2 finish in round eight of the championships in Canada in early August. Petter's wife, Penilla is team manager. A national rally champion in her own right, she's found the step away from being behind the wheel a lot easier than first anticipated. I love managing the team. I get to see a different aspect of the sport. I've done racing, so I know what it's like to sit in the car. I know what competing feels like. I'm so happy to deal with this side of things, and I'm still very much involved. Peter's son Oliver is also involved with motorsport. He won last year's national cross cart title and is being tipped as a future world champion. Due to his young age, the 15 year old gained a Latvian racing license to compete at this year's Nordic Rally Cross Championships. Dad was happy to lend him his 2014 championship winning car, but was only able to watch Oliver's first round drive on the laptop, as he was himself at a race meet. Nervous, stressful, but I can see that he can drive the car and has good control. So I'm happy. Loads of tears when he does well, and immense pride when I see him on the roof with his arms raised high. Having inherited both his parents' talent for driving, Oliver won the second round of the Nordic Rallycross and became the youngest ever supercar winner. I try not to think that much about the surname. I'm taking my own path. Of course, being called Solberg helps, but I'm trying to build things on my own. I think I'm pretty good at staying calm. I like chasing, staying behind and catching up, and then trying to see if it's possible to overtake. Yes! <laughs> No. It's a constant competition between them. All he thinks about is one day competing against Petter. Racing against him is probably his biggest dream. Maybe one day. You never know. He'll probably stop before I start. If I've gained enough experience and learned everything I can from him, if I do everything that he does and try to do it better, then I might beat him. The future looks bright for the Solbergs, and Oliver looks set to make his European supercar debut in some form next season, adding to an already overcrowded family calendar. This is our life. It's all we know. It might sound weird, but this is a normal life to us, and we like it this way. It's fast-paced, and the three of us are together all the time. The dog joins us occasionally when we take a trip with the camper van. We're really lucky that we get to experience so much together as a family. Having borrowed one championship winning car already and possessing all the attributes of a great driver, Petter still won't let his son behind the wheel of one particular car. He sat on my lap in the Subaru once when he was very little. He had his dummy in his mouth and I was out testing. He hasn't driven the Subaru yet but he's nagging about it. It's his dream car. He's a big fan of that one, though I think he will inherit it before I even let him drive it. <laughs> we'll leave the two of them to race that one out.